Well, the career criminal Arthur Taylor wants to name a jailhouse snitch who he says committed perjury when he gave evidence against David Tamahiri. Now, Tamahiri was convicted of the murders of tourists Heidi Pakenen and Sven Hogland way back in 1989, but has always maintained his innocence. He was released on parole in 2010. Witness C was one of the witnesses to give evidence against Tamahiri, claiming uh, Tamahiri had told him how he had carried out the murders. But since then, Witness C has flip-flopped on his evidence against Tamahiri, and now Taylor is taking a private prosecution against the secret witness, charging him with eight counts of perjury and one of perverting the course of justice. Well, our Auckland court reporter is Edward Gay, he was at the High Court in Auckland to hear this uh, suppression arguments. Uh, good evening to you, Edward. Arthur Taylor describing Witness C as, what, an ongoing threat to justice? Yeah, that's right. And he sees that, says that even with the limited media coverage so far, with the suppression in place, another prisoner has come forward alleging that Witness C invited him to also give evidence against Tamahiri, uh, but he refused. And he said that, Taylor said that naming Witness C could produce more evidence in his case. He said that Witness C also offered to give evidence evidence against another murderer uh, who we can only identify as Mr Z. Uh, Justice Fogarty said he didn't need to hear from Mr Z and he suppressed his name. Uh, Mr Taylor says that the circumstances of Witness C's case has changed because since the Tamahiri trial, Witness C has admitted lying to the court. Witness C told Tamahiri's trial that Tamahiri told him he had dumped the bodies at sea and that he'd used a piece of wood to kill uh, Mr Hoglan. Mr Hoglan's body, though, was found after the trial, uh, buried, and he had uh, wounds consistent with being stabbed. Uh, Taylor said that Tamahiri's case is a trophy case. The public have a right to know the full details. And what are the Crown arguments here? They say what naming Witness C could stop others coming forward, other informants coming forward? That's right, and, and, and the Crown Prosecutor Mark Harbour has said that could have a, an effect on future trials. He also argued that the suppression order was made under old legislation. There was a much higher, a, a much higher threshold required to remove it. He said that Taylor already had witnesses for his case and that naming Witness C was not necessary. Uh, the media were also represented here today. Uh, lawyer Kristen Wilson said it was important that the upcoming perjury trial against Witness C was reported openly she said the matter concerns allegations of false evidence being given in a high-profile murder trial, and it was in the in the public interest. And Witness C, though, w wants to keep name suppression in this case. That's right, and his lawyer, Chris Wilkinson-Smith, uh, said that although Judge Gibson in the Auckland District Court had found that Witness C has a case to answer on the, on the perjury charges, the legal test required uh, to, to make that finding was only a low threshold and that the judge hadn't weighed any of the evidence. He said that... His client had an explanation as to why he had changed his evidence. Mr Wilkinson C Smith said following the trial, Witness, Smith, uh, Witness C sorry, had changed his evidence under duress. Now, he received a death threat and was told uh, that his parents could be butchered if he didn't change his evidence. Mr Wilkinson Smith said Witness C has since confirmed that what he told the Tamahiri trial was the truth. Now, Justice Fogarty said that the case is complicated uh, and he has reserved his decision. Thanks, Edward. That's our Auckland Court report. Edward Gay.